Hello, my name is Jack and welcome to today's lesson. Today I'm going to show you how to fit a floating shelf to uh, two different wall surfaces. Um, one being a standard block wall that you have here. Um, this side done for demonstration purposes, but in your house it would be plastered and skimmed so you wouldn't see any of the blocks. The second type of wall that we're going to do is, um, it's actually a plasterboard onto battens, which and it would be skimmed over so you wouldn't see any of the screw holes or anything like that. So it's standard enough in houses to have both of those. Our floating shelves, you can buy them in any of your local DIY stores. But for today's purposes, I, I actually made them with my own. I've used some 18mm walnut melamine MDF. I've mitered the corners and I've kept them nice and chunky. And by doing that means that I'm left with a decent sized space in the middle for a solid batten which will go in there after. So the purpose of this is to get that fitted to the wall strong, uh, firmly and um, the shelf will fit it on over then and we can fix onto it. If you if you buy them in DIY, sometimes they'll come with, or they, show, they will come <coughs> with um, a metal bar usually, but the fitting process will be the very same or similar. So um, before we get started doing any work, we are just have to check that uh, we need some for safety equipment, we're going to need some ear, ear muffs, we're going to need <clears throat> eye protection and little dust masks. Um, if you're on a ladder, are you going to use ladder for heights? We won't be using one today. Make sure it's on a level surface before you actually use ladder. Uh, th these screws and plugs will, will come with the, the shelf you buy in the hardware, but I have them here separate. I'll be using a masonry plug here, which you can see. Uh, I use it through a 6mm hole. And then we can put in a, a 4x50 or a 5x70, whatever size screw is required. And we will actually, we will find the stud in this wall here. But for the purpose of the exercise, we will be working in an area where there's no stud. And that's where this little gadget comes in. It's, it's a, some people call it a hollow wall fixing, it's a plasterboard fixing or it's a worm. But that will, that will screw into the plasterboard. And then we can come along and screw in our standard screw into that. So that will give us a second fixing, and on that size shelf you'll definitely need two fixings. If it's longer, you could need three or four, so that's why this little gadget is very important to have, because you won't always be able to hit the, the studs. Uh, in this case, we can see your studs, but um, in, in a house, I just have a piece of skirting on here, and you can try them. They're normally 400 centers, but um, you won't be able to see them. In a house, you can, I don't have a stud, a stud detector, you mightn't have either. But it's a, good, a good plan is to look at the skirting board where you'll see little pinholes or where, where the plate has filled it. That'll give you a good indication if they're coming in at 400 centres or 600 centres, that's roughly where your studs should be. So, um, tools required then to use to do the job is we're going to need a spirit level, a tape and a pencil, uh, a drill, you can use a battery screwdriver or a hand screwdriver, whatever suits, a hand, hammer and a masonry drill with a 6mm masonry drill bit in it. Um, just uh, with the, If you do buy a shelf, make sure and follow the safety instructions with the, with, that comes with your shelf also. Um, right, to get started, you, you pick your, we're going to go to the block wall first. So to get started there, we will just, we'll just pick a height. I won't go in the joint here because I can see it, but we'll just call, cross along there, roughly that height will go on the shelf. So the idea is we're going to level that on the wall. We're going to drill through here. Um, I have a pre-drilled here with this drill. So we'll be drilling through the mason with the mason drill. We'll put in our wall plug, and then we will we will offer a screw through this into the wall plug, and repeat that on this side here. Okay. So I just put on a mask here, and uh, you need. Sorry, you need your eye protection and your earmuffs, okay? So, we're gonna pick my spot here. Sorry, just talking up. I you pick my spot here, so I'm just gonna say, drain it there now, okay? Some lads will come along and they will, um, they will actually mark the drill bit. I didn't bother there, but you can do that if you wish, just to see the length, the length, the depth you want to go in with it. Okay, so that's that's a helpful, a little tip to have, not to go in too deep. 
because they've been too deep, the screw won't rust the either. Right? So, we head out the wall plug. I'm just going to tap into the hole there. Right. I'm, going to try, I'm going to start off trying the, the 4 by 50s I'll use the hand one then just to get it started. Let's try the preacher in the hole. I'm just line it up there. That's not a tap. And you can turn that there like that. So that's getting a grip at the moment. So I'll just speed up and just finish off with the battery drill. Okay. Now so that's, that's sitting it's fairly firm at the moment. So now I'm just going to stick a level on that there. And I'm going to need pencil. So you can stick a level underneath it or on top. It's just handy on the top there. And just stick a little line underneath there. And for um, for this stage, I'll just That's not over tight there. I can move that down a small bit, put in the plug, and that will be Get your 50 mil screw up there. Start it off there again. Okay. It's not over tight until you double check with the level. Yeah, that just needs a bit of twitch up so I can loosen off your, your screw. That's good and firm there on the wall. So the next stage now is just take your shelf. You can see there where this is 18 mil. I have pre-drilled two holes underneath here. If it was a, a higher shelf, I would have put the holes to the top. But in this case, we're just going to let them go on the bottom because they're least, the least obvious. So I'm sitting in there. I'm just going to use a 4 by 30 mil screw here, two of those. And I'm going to screw them up underneath. And that should be the job then. Second one, there you go. Oh, good and firm shelf. So just, just to keep in mind, uh, the floating shelves, they look lovely and modern and sleek looking. Uh, they're not as strong as a shelf that would have brackets underneath it. But if you be careful, don't overload them, they will always look very good. So now, that's one done. Okay. So now, so we, we just, we'll go back and do the similar process with a, a, a slab wall with studs in it. And I said early on to you, there's, there we have, you can find your studs from here, you can use a stud finder, or you can just usually come from the corner of a wall or something and it should be 400 centers. But that's not going to bother us today because we're going to just pick a spot on the wall and we're only going to find one stud. And the second stud then, the second fixing will be going into a hollow, hollow wall, hollow section here, like I said with this little gadget here. So I'm just going to pre-drill this hole. And let's drill the second hole here. And that's just at random altogether. So uh, I, I have me stud marked here so I can see where it is. So I'm going to actually just um, I'll do it. Okay, let's drill a different hole for a second because they're directly lined up so well. We'll drill the second hole there. So here I'm going to use my 4 by 50s here again and I'm going to drill straight in to the stud wall which is, I just put it here, this wall here, okay? I have a line there in. No, so it's already up here once. So it's not level or anything. It is actually sitting lovely and level there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill through the sec this hole here. I know there's a stud here, but I know there's no stud there, so I'm going to drill straight through there, and uh, that will actually mark a centre point for me to put this piece in, this little fit in. So, that'll go up there, up to the level. Right. So you can see what I've just done there. I have I just let the, the slab marked for the, for the plasterboard fixing. So, this is actually geared to take a standard screwdriver tip. As you can see it by hand, it will still go in the very same. And it's actually not a bad idea to put it, put it in by hand. As you can see the way it puts in there lovely. And 
and you won't over tighten it with, with the hand screwdriver. So it's a great idea to use to, to use the um, hand screwdriver there. So just, just to get it back onto here then, yeah, put it back up, put the level onto it. Okay, it's nice and level, so that should be in the same position then as we already had set up. But here you can feel the score behind it. There you go now, that's probably level and at the strongest end as it is that end there because I didn't over tighten the, the plasterboard fixing. And that means it's getting getting full value from the strength of it. Right, so I've also pre-drilled this one here and similar height. So sit that up there. I get my there's four by thirties. I'm just going to underpin those with that just to hold the shelf in position. And Sometimes you can put a screw down from the top if you want as well. So we do that just to make it safer or stronger. Let's try one for now. That's better. Okay. Now, so one second. Now. So now you can see that today I demonstrated how to fix the floating shelves onto two different wall surfaces and um, I hope you find this demonstration useful around your home and I uh, hope you found it very helpful and thank you very much for watching.